nature. It has an attraction that leaves many people in wonder and awe. It brings peace and rest. This calmness in its atmosphere. Why? Why is there this attraction? It is as if there's a communication to humanity, a message, but from who? It is written, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night shows knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. In the simple leaf, the blades of grass covering the earth with their green velvet carpet, the plants and flowers, the stately trees of the forest, the lofty mountains, the granite rocks, the restless ocean, the precious gems of light studying the heavens to make the night beautiful, the exhaustless riches of the sunlight, the solemn glories of the moon, the winter's cold, the summer's heat, the changing recurring seasons in perfect order and harmony, controlled by infinite power. All these things are subjects which call for deep thought for the stretch of the imagination. But here lies a danger which has deceived many. Because God's handiwork in nature is not God himself in nature. The things of nature are an expression of God's character. By them we may understand his love, his power and his glory but we are not to regard nature as God. Artists can produce very beautiful works of art, but the beautiful piece of art is not the artist. It is not the work, but the workman that is counted worthy of honor. So, while nature is an expression of God's thought, it is not nature, but the God of nature that is to be exalted. But we cannot learn from nature if we have not first learned from Christ himself. For apart from Christ we are still incapable of interpreting rightly the language of nature. If we have not studied the Bible, we cannot study the second book. God does not want you to worship these symbols but to listen to their voice as they speak to your senses and utter words of wisdom, of eternal truth, of the sure workings of God's infinite grace. In the growth and development of nature, learn the principles of Christ's kingdom. Thus the light of heaven will quicken the mind. Christ himself will be your teacher.